On this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over Canvas Extraction Options, how we can turn this into this, and what process we may go through, or some advantages and disadvantages of some of the processes to go through and turn Canvas Buds into a final extract. All right, I'm gonna go over some cannabis extraction options, give you some of the advantages and disadvantages of, of each. If there's one you wanna learn more about, search this channel here on Debaco University and you'll find more detailed versions of that specific extraction method. So first off, why would we wanna extract in the first place? Well, extraction allows for a purified product from the cannabis plant that is showing increased popularity among consumers. Extracts also offer more consistent dosing than just using the dry flour. There are different methods of extraction, each with its own advantages and disadvantages that we provided here. So first off, just the quick advantage disadvantage of water-based extraction. Well, the advantages of the elimination of additional sample cleanup, ease of automation, and a cheap solvent because it's basically using water. However, the disadvantages are the long uh, residence time of extracts. It has increased risk of phytochemical degradation as well. So if water extract's not for you, uh, then we've got rosin. The advantage of rosin, it's a near pure concentrated uh, product that's produced, relatively simple and easy process with minimal specialized equipment. However, the downfall is it does for at least high pressure rosin, presses can be extremely dangerous if misused, and it's very easy to burn the extract if not properly pressed. So there is some stepwise protocols to follow. Uh, there is also the distillation method of extraction, and this is an extremely pure product when compared to other extraction methods. Uh, complete control over terpenes and flavonoids, easily automated, and can really allow for very specific components to be extracted and put into separate containers. However, as we can see here, this can be a very costly and long process with multiple steps. Sometimes it can take days to pass one liter of crude oil through the machine. Uh, the distillation process strips the cannabis of all compounds except for the desired compound, which can have dramatic effect on the terpenes when adding them back into the mixture. So again, that's one of the disadvantages. So if these aren't the methods for you, you might want to consider alcohol or ethanol-specific extraction. This is a very cost-effective for large amounts. Alcohol extraction can pull a broader range of compounds from the plant than other extraction methods. There's no risk of leaving toxic res residual chemicals in the final cannabis extract. However, the disadvantages are that ethanol has a much higher boiling point than other solvents, which could lead to a longer process. Post-processing is extensive. Several refinements must be made to the extract before it's consumer-ready, and it can be extremely dangerous and a significant fire hazard if being used indoors. Ethanol, alcohol in general, highly flammable. Then we get to carbon dioxide extraction. So this is um, less valuable material is wasted. It's a specific compounds with adjustments can to heat, pressure, and runtime can be made. And there's no residual solvent in the final product due to the evaporation of the carbon dioxide. The disadvantage is it's much higher initial uh, startup cost when compared to the other extraction methods. Even once purchased, the equipment requires proper training and safety procedures to be understood and followed. So this is one you want to use caution if you're going to be utilizing this extraction method. The last one mentioned here is going to be hydrocarbon extraction. Uh, this offers a wide range of extract types and can be achieved through hydrocarbon extraction. It can be done with trim and flour, relative low equipment, and run costs. However, the downfall is it's extremely dangerous. Butane, propane, highly flammable, and extreme caution must be used when extracting with hydrocarbons. Unwanted compounds can make it um, tough for the extraction process and would need a later refinement. So again, if each or any one of these extraction methods you want to learn more about, search the channel and hopefully you can find some more detail as you continue your education.